all these really descriptive phrases. Okay, and one more. Okay, wonderful. I and and you took a very good approach here as well, like with the, um, you know, then and I like this was about your brother then choosing because that makes it that sort of a surprise because you know when when we're talking about oh well we're going to choose and then if someone else chooses it for us that's a fun way to end it. or or you know if if suddenly um, your mom just gets so impatient with you that she decides to go I could see where it might be a funny ending if you're like oh I really want chocolate and everyone wants chocolate. But I had already taken two minutes standing there, so my mom suddenly uh, rushed to the front and was like, what are you doing? Uh, there's other people lying behind you. And she ordered my least favorite flavor, uh, oh. pistachio or something. So that would be a kind of funny twist on if you had spent all this time arguing with yourself about which one do I choose, and then suddenly your mom comes up to the front and orders your least favorite flavor. So, uh, there's many different ways that you can describe, and they're all, and, and I saw t today with you guys sharing yours, that you have a huge imagination, and you're really good at describing, uh, using these words, and creating your own phrases, as well as using details like uh, what you did, the actions, like pressing your face with fast, that also made it much better as well. So, um, I want to thank you all for a wonderful session, and... I hope that you have a great day, um, and maybe you can get to eat some ice cream in the future. If there's any questions, I can take them now, uh, and um, probably about three questions. How did you become such a talented writer? Oh, how did I become such a talented writer? Thanks. Um, I would, um, a lot of it was practice, I'd say, because I've been writing for a long time, since I was four. And when I was six, when my mom got me a computer, so I started writing, um, I, I started typing up my stories. And a lot of it was that I would write mostly every day. I would write a story or an essay or a blog post or something like that. So I really loved writing and I would do it very often. And it definitely is where practice makes perfect. Or, I mean, obviously not saying I'm perfect, but um, it, it really definitely helps you, it helps you get better. Oh. Um. Wait, did anything or anyone inspire you to start writing stories? Many, uh, many things and many people inspire me. I would say a lot of it started with my love of reading because I was reading from like three and a half and, uh, and so I read all these books and I was like, well, all of these authors have published books, maybe I can as well. And so it was definitely my love of reading that made me want to start writing and start publishing books. So I would say all the authors that I started reading at a young age, and definitely my parents, the fact that they uh, read to my sister and I, and, and that they um, got us started with reading and, and uh, encouraged us to really read a lot from a very early age, that definitely helped me because I was super inspired. I was like, well, you know, all these books are published. Why can't I have a published book? So yeah, uh, all the authors and my family have definitely been big inspirations. And one more question. Yeah. <laughs> published book in your hand and it was see it was flying fingers so it had my face on it and uh, on the front and I looked at it and I sort of held it and I was like and I looked at the picture and I was just thinking wow I was like in total shock I mean it didn't seem like it could be true or that that it could be my face on the cover so it was definitely very happy but still like I was just totally shocked and, and totally um you know like uh, I guess just it was Something, obviously something I, uh, that had never happened to me before, so it was really exciting and uh, and very happy moment. But no, I did not cry. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, sorry. Oh, I thought I heard something. Well, thank you for your great questions. Um, does the teacher have any questions or comments? No, mm no. -mm. Okay, well, thank you all very much. I had a really fun time talking with you, and I hope you have a wonderful day.
Bye. Bye. Bye.